I'm Kathy from Kathy's Chuckle Club. Hey, 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 pull my finger. <laughs> this week on Fabulous Fun Friday, stay tuned as I talk about ways to get out of stress. Ways for healing. The fingers are involved. chimes. Ah, hello, welcome. This week, you know, I talk very often about laughter, self-care, laughter is the best medicine, had your daily dose, all of that. Today I'd like to kind of tone it down a notch and just offer some wonderful tips, breathing, some um, wonderful techniques for you to get out of stress. Stress is a killer, and we have a lot of stress. It's a fearful time. So I will demonstrate a few different techniques to help you. Take what you want, leave the rest. Be sure to play along. So the first one that I'd like to demonstrate, as I sit in my rocking chair in my beautiful, peaceful way. <laughs> okay, so the first one is, is finger holds. It's not new. I didn't design or come up with any of these. I'm just replicating what I've learned. What works for me, and you can, again, take what you want and, and leave the rest. So each of our fingers, we're, we do have 14 meridians in our body. And so when we do the finger holds, we wrap our hand. This is something you can do for yourself. You can do if you're looking after somebody. Either hand will work. So um, it's, it's very flexible. Nothing will happen if you do this incorrectly, because <laughs> there is no incorrect. So the first one is the thumb. And I want you to, to play along. So grab your thumb, either hand, and just wrap your fingers around. And I want, and we're going to take a nice, slow, deep breath in. And release. And you can release either breathing in and out through your nose, or in through your nose and then out through your mouth. Your choice. We're going to do that again. Breathe in. And release. The thumb, it governs worry. So this is, if we're worried, we can hold our thumb. So beautiful. The index finger is, governs the fear emotion. So when we're afraid, like during a pandemic, <laughs> we could um, hold our middle fi or our index finger. And then I want, again, I want you to take a nice deep breath in. And release. And breathe in and release ah you can release with a gentle sigh it's so beautiful it says to your body ah I'm happy here we go the middle finger this probably won't be a surprise but the middle finger is anger yeah it's no mistake that people you know give you a half a peace sign when they're angry at you so just grab your uh, gently and fold your middle finger and take a nice deep breath in and release. Ah, again, breathe in and release. Ah, so beautiful. This is, and you can do this longer. Now, the, the ring finger, again, it's not a mistake, I don't think. This one covers sadness. And so, when I think about the ring finger, I think about relationship. You know, maybe you've recently had a breakup or you're just in a bad space in a relationship. Um, the ring finger. So we're going to do the same thing and embrace our, our finger. Take a nice breath in and release. <sighs> you can always add a smile to all of these things too. Breathe in and release. <sighs> nice. Last one is the pinky. This one is about self-esteem. Or just trying so hard. So here we go. Just embrace your your pinky and breathe in and release. Ah, beautiful. And we're gonna breathe in again. Ah, just so we're we're equal. So you know. And if you're feeling, say, worried when you're going to sleep, you can uh, wrap your hand around your thumb and just put your hands on your belly and go to sleep just in that with the finger hold. It's really a wonderful thing, and if you were playing along just now, you may already feel more relaxed. Beautiful. Finger holds, again, not new, but something you can do anytime. 
and you can do that with other people. All right, the next one I would like to demonstrate, I don't know what it's called, but if you have trouble going to sleep, you know that monkey chatter or the, the uh, mind going on, chatting away at you, stop talking. <laughs> um, or you wake up and you can't get back to sleep, something you can do is you can do figure eight. So I want you to take two fingers and my little pet here who just loves being in my videos. <laughs> it's fine, she's cute, eh? Mocha. Here we go. So take two fingers and we're just going to right on your skin or just above your eyes, we're going to do figure eights around our eyes. Just gently, slowly, methodically, right? We're trying to get to sleep or get out of stress. So here we go. Again, either hand, either way, gently going around, doing figure eights, breathing beautiful breaths. Ah, and you do that until you yawn. As soon as you yawn, you've now converted from sympathetic into parasympathetic. You're ready to zoom off to la la land. Ah, and you can do that anytime during the day. You don't have to do it just at night. You can do that if you're feeling anxious, maybe you have a, an important meeting or a conversation coming up. You can do the figure eights too. Ha! Shush on down. Now this next one is similar. Just so you know, when we're in stress, we're secreting cortisol. You know, we need a bit of that. We can't heal. If we're trying to heal from something, if we're in stress, our body is just trying to get out of stress. So here are some techniques. The next one, I want you to rub your hands together like you're starting a fire. These are the conductors. And then just shake them off. And then I want you to, sometimes our ancestors might have known this, or maybe you do this already. When we're overwhelmed, we might be like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do it all? So I want you to do this. Rub your hands, shake them off, put one hand on your forehead, and you can cup your head by putting the other hand on the back of your head. Now you can close your eyes, take a nice deep breath in, into your belly, and then release. And we're going to do that two more times. Breathe in. And release. Beautiful. One more time. Here we go. Breathe in. And release. Ah, just a little bit of, again about stress. When we're in stress, blood, lymph, oxygen, not all, but most, leaves our brain because we don't need our thinker. We don't need to come up with a solution right now. We just need to get out of stress. We're in fight, flight, or freeze. So doing this brings the blood, oxygen, lymph back up to our being so that we can come up with a solution. Here's a great example. Have you ever been on social media and you've read a comment that really caused you distress where you're just like, how could somebody think that? What were they thinking? Who are those people? And you start to compose a message and you're like, rawr. Um, may I suggest that you do this technique first? Breathe in, you know, a few times. And if you're still in stress, keep going. There's no limit. That will take you out of that you know, stress response. And then you might be like, ah, why did I even care about that? You know, on, on social media, you may not even know that person in person, <laughs> right? Social media is designed to get us all emotional. So I would suggest don't respond in emotion. All right. And another one similar to that one is putting your thumbs on your temples. And then you just curl your fingers in where they meet on your forehead. You push in with your fingers. This one is called, um, what is, oh, this one's called the crown pull. So we just push in and drag across our, our forehead. Similar to this one, where we're bringing the oxygen blood lymph back up to our brain. Ah, the crown pull. Ah, um, that's just a few little techniques. You know, deep breathing automatically takes us into parasympathetic, so we're relaxed. You know, they say, take a couple of deep breaths before you respond. Do, because it's such a beautiful way for us to just acknowledge our beautiful body and, and heal, because that's what we want to do. We want to be happy, heal, be joyful, connect with others. Ha, thank you so much. I would give you the namaste sign. The light in me sees the light in you. We are one. Yes, we are. 
Thank you. Thank you for joining me again today on Fabulous Fun Friday. I hope you have a great week. Tune in again next time and take good care.